I'm Chaz Llewellyn, I'm the Sculptor, Interactive Interface Designer, and this is a project I've been working on using the Moog and a Moog iPad app. With all these um, projects, I've just looked at the instrument and look what goes into it, and look what goes out of it, and channel it into doing something. This right here is reading the MIDI output of the instrument, um, both the notes and the different parameters of the instrument. And as you move the XY pad, I have it mapped to uh, a grid of coordinates. This machine, the instrument is really unusual like that. MIDI is not really designed with this in mind. It's more of your, your general instrument. So I had to come up with a pretty novel approach to being able to transfer the scale onto the piece over there, because I only have 16 lights, and there's roughly 16 keys on the Animoog while you're playing it. So it's perfect mate to this. So the information starts at the top. We got very simple information passing from the machine. It's it's a, a parameter. It's like a, a note is what 127, and then the number for whatever that note is, and then it spits out very very simple information at the end. Just a string of numbers with the number of a light and whether it's on and off. Let's jump to that. Then once that uh, information is goes into that very last box there, it uh, is converted into OSC and sent with the Ethernet connection. Uh, passes through about a thousand feet of cable to the the router upstairs in the, the top of the building, and then switched back down here. It travels all the way back down runs into an Ethernet shield and an Arduino, which is connected to a, a series of solid state relays. So then I have all that routed into the string of cable, and I have every cable is, is numbered with the tag, so I can just wave, keeping track of where it's going. And it runs into the pile, and all well, these are just regular old uh, light fixtures. It's just a matter of playing the instrument a whole lot and playing with this and working with it until what I'm seeing in the sculpture is what I'm hearing in the music.